everyone. Welcome back to Reading with Leanne. We are going to read the book, Come With Me. This is by Holly M. McGee, and it's illustrated by Pascal Lamatre. So we see on the cover of her book, a girl walking a dog, and there's something flying in front of the dog. A ladybug? The girl is telling us, come with me. So the story begins with the girl watching TV. You might have a television at home too, right? All over the world, the news told and told and retold of anger and hatred. People against people. And the little girl was frightened by everything she heard and saw and felt. She asked her papa, if there was something she could do to make the world a better place, right? She sees all of the scary stuff on TV, people fighting each other, angry people. What can I do to make it better? Her papa said, come with me. Hand in hand, they walked out the door to the subway. Waiting there on the platform, her papa tipped his hat to those he met. It's like a way of saying hi, tip your hat. And so the little girl did too. She also tips her hat. Right? That's one way of making the world a better place, greeting people. They rode the train through tunnels underground. Right? You see everyone is looking at each other with suspicious eyes. But the girl and her dad, they stand on the train calmly together. The girl and her papa were brave and kind. And that day they won a tiny battle over fear for themselves and for the people of the world. So by going out on the train, being with a lot of people, tipping their hats, saying hello, they showed that there was nothing to fear. There's a problem though. The girl, she turns on her TV again. The news kept telling of anger and hatred. And the little girl asked her mama what she could do to make the world a better place. Her mama said, come with me. They went to their grocery to buy some things for dinner. And the mom is waving happily. Do you see a mix of people? They're shopping at a grocery store called Import Corner of the World. So it's bringing foods from all over. And there's people from all over the world shopping over there. And they go out, they greet people because one person doesn't represent a family or a race or the people of the land. So I want us to think about this for a second. Just because you see one person do something wrong, something bad, it doesn't mean that their family is bad. It doesn't mean that their race is bad. It doesn't mean that, you know, people where they live, everyone there is bad, right? It's just one person. The mom wants to teach her daughter that. And they go on happily shopping. It looks like they're in a bakery. So after shopping, her mama cooked and the girl set the table piece by piece, as she'd always done. Plate in the middle, knife and spoon on the right, fork on the left, napkin on its side. Water glass, setting the table. The girl sat with her mama and her papa and they ate together. Her dog nuzzled her under the table. She scratched his head. I, I want to do something of my own, she said. Can I walk the dog? Her parents looked at each other. And they looked at their child. They let her go and sent a message to the world. They would not live in fear. So even though there's a man on the TV saying that so much is going wrong, 
they decide, you know, we can't shut our daughter in the house. She should be able to go for a walk with the dog. When the little girl opened the door, the boy across the hall opened his door too. They see each other. What, where are you going? He asked. The little girl said, come with me because two people together are stronger than one, right? It's safer to go out with a friend. It's you're much stronger and you learn more when you're in a pair. So they go out together. The girl, the boy, and the dog were happy to be out. They're walking their dog and someone is petting it. So someone else says hi to them. One step at a time. They understood what they could do to make the world a better place. They could go on. So how are they making the world a better place? Well, they're carrying on their lives, being brave, gentle, strong, and kind to one another and all living things. Bravely living their day, being gentle to those around them being strong, right? Being strong, even when maybe you're a little bit afraid and being kind. As tiny as it was, their part mattered in the world, right? They're doing something really beautiful. They're creating sidewalk art with chalk. So their part mattered in the world and everyone is looking in and your part matters too. So, everyone is looking at the beautiful art, more people are picking up chalk, and they're doing more beautiful things. So this shows, I think, if you choose to be kind, maybe your friend will choose to be kind too. Maybe your friend's friend will come and also be kind and create something beautiful, and then more and more people can be kind and brave and create something really beautiful together, right? You're, even though what you do, it might be really small, right? But it can add up and you can impact other people. I'll flip the last page. Come with me, the girl says. And that's the end of our book. This is by Holly M. McGee and it's illustrated by Pascal Lemaitre. Thank you so much for reading along with me.